starting out on February 19th, Friday, February 19th, um, we start with a MAC matchup between Akron and Ball State. Akron comes into this game as three-point favorites. Um, now, Akron has been playing um, pretty good basketball this season, 13-4 and four on the season, Ball State 7-10. and 10. Um, And Akron comes in this one 126th in the hot tip at rankings, Ball State the 148th ranked team. And one thing that really jumps off the paper um, right away for this Akron team um, is just their shooting. You know, really good from the field with a 53.9 effective field goal percentage. Ball State 49.4 effective field goal percentage. Um, and that's, that doesn't really stop there as far as Akron shooting. You know, dude also doing a good job um, hitting their threes and, you know, getting to the line and making those shots too. You know, uh, 35% from beyond the arc. Ball State 32.8 from beyond the arc. And, you know, hitting 75.5% of their free throws. Ball State only hitting 72%. Um, so just really across the board, this Akron team um, is really a very good shooting team. Um, and, and that really just goes to show how good their offense is. 76th in adjusted offensive efficiency. Ball State 2 and 16th. Um, and that, that kind of carries over into some other sets. You know, Akron only turning the ball over on 18.2% of their possessions, while Ball State's turned it over on 20.1%. Akron also doing a good job pulling down offensive boards, 29.4% off the offensive glass, while Ball State only 26%. So I really like Akron to cover this three-point spread here um, and get the win for us in that game. Moving on to the next game on Friday's card, we move out west for uh, some Mountain West action between Wyoming and New Mexico. Now, Wyoming comes into this game um, as six point favorites, Wyoming 11 and nine on the season, New Mexico five and 12 on the season. Um, and I was re <clears throat> really hot on this new Wyoming team um, early on in the season. I'm not exactly sure why I stopped betting them, um, but they are they're, they're having a pretty good season. You know, 199th in um, the hot tip bet rankings, New Mexico to 60th. This Wyoming team has a very, very good offense, 86th in adjusted offensive efficiency, while New Mexico 321 in adjusted offensive efficiency. I mean, Wyoming has also just done a very good job not turning the ball over, only turning it over on 13.8% of their possessions, while New Mexico turned it over on 213 But really, if we're, if it, when it comes down to, you know, the biggest part um, of basketball is scoring and shooting and making points. Um, and that's just something Wyoming's done a great job at. 34.8% from beyond the arc. New Mexico, a very bad 25% from beyond the arc. You know, you're not going to win a whole lot of college basketball games shooting that bad from beyond the arc. Um New, and then Wyoming just uh, carries that over across the board. 71.6 um, from the free throw line, 60.1 for New Mexico. And Wyoming also effective field goal percentage of 52.5, while New Mexico an effective field goal percentage of 42%. So New Mexico without a home this season kind of struggled um, finding themselves. So like Wyoming, minus six to cover this spread. And the final game for Friday's car, we move back to the MAC. We got Toledo taking on Buffalo. Now, Toledo was actually the underdog in this game um, two, at two points there, getting two points. Um, Toledo comes into this game at 17 and 6 on the season. Um, Buffalo comes into this game at 9 and 6 on the season. So, you know, having played um, eight less games of the season, I think that's a, a big reason why this, Toledo, or this Buffalo team is favored over that. You know, definitely a more rested team. Don't have as much of the wear as um, this Toledo team does in the season. But this Toledo team, while they have had a couple of bad losses lately, and for being honest, it seems like every time I bet on them is when they have bad losses. So hopefully that's not another case here. But <laughs> Toledo, Toledo is just, just, I just can't stop betting on this Toledo team because across the board, they're just a better basketball team. You know, they're 17th um, in adjusted offensive efficiency. I mean, that's down a little bit from where they were in the past. They were up in the, the tens um, Somewhere, I, I want to say six. That seems high, but I feel like they were six just last week. Um, but this Toledo team is still a very good team. You know, Buffalo 87th in adjusted offensive efficiency. Um, and one thing that really sticks out about this Toledo team, they just shooting the ball from free throw or shooting their free throw. 78.2% from the free throw line. Um, you know, 37.9 from beyond the arc with an effective field percentage of 54.1. Buffalo across the board worse in every category. 34.1 from beyond the arc, a free throw percentage of 65.2, and an effective field goal percentage of 51.5. So I do like Bu or not Buffalo. I do like Toledo. Um, that is plus the two points to take care of business to close out Friday's card.